Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we are going to be checking out a new modded character. Well, I say new modded character. It's not a new modded character, but it's a new modded character to me. We're going to play it as the Tainted Unbidden, um, as, or Unbind as I called it previously when I played the non-Tainted version. But I've been waiting on playing this character for quite some time, but apparently this character is getting a little bit of a rework coming up soon and I was asked to test out this version now and give some feedback and stuff. So I am going to do just that. I've also been told by a lot of people that I should try this character. I'm going in completely unknowing about what's going to happen here, but I see that we have minus infinity health and we are cursed and we have, we start with threshold. So really don't know what that means. If, I've, if I remember correctly, this character doesn't fire tears. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we've got threshold and then, yeah, we've got this here, which I'm guessing means that we don't take damage, instead we rewind when we get hit, and we can use control to swap between our actives, I guess that is. Um, we get wisps and absorb the wisps with Q. Okay, so I'm guessing we get wisps from touching items and we can absorb those with Q. And so we do a little, little radial attack. I kind of like that idea. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously, please, uh, those of you that um, already know this might understand that when I'm playing with modded characters such as a mod like this one the frame rate is going to be slightly lower than on my regular series where I'm not using this mod all the time that is just sort of the nature of how this goes so let me just figure out I, even if I take damage here uh, and die or whatever I just want to figure out how this works okay so I've got 99% of my thing left and it says minus 2% I don't particularly know what that's in reference to I'm guessing that means my next hit will be minus 2%. I wonder as well. Let me let me test something here. So this guy, um, one, two. Okay, it doesn't seem like the damage is, is higher when you're closer. I thought maybe the damage would be different the closer you are to the enemy. So that doesn't seem to be the case. Interesting to know. Dude, golden poops going off right now. So yeah, my frame rate is a little bit more choppy than it normally would be in my regular series. It's just something we're going to have to deal with. Um... Do not fret, do not worry. But yeah, kind of an interesting character. I really like the firing mechanic. Okay, so the minus 2% thing has gone away now. So I'm guessing after clearing a certain amount of rooms, the amount goes back down to just losing 1% per. Kind of interesting, really. Uh, so this character's kind of like a, a... Like, tainted lost with a lot more survivability, in a way. Like, it's got the tainted lost aspect to it. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to use it and see what happens. Do you know what? I'm pretty glad I did that because the active there was pretty dog shit. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to sell the item. I, I'll be honest, I had no idea that was going to happen. But I'm kind of glad it did because um wasn't particularly interested in that. So because I didn't pick up an item, I've yet to, I've yet to got a threshold to do anything yet because we haven't gained any wisps. But I'm assuming, much like the other version of this character that, um, that gained wisps on touching items, that's going to be how that works. And then we use threshold to... Make them become real, which seems like, I don't know, that, that doesn't seem like it has too much interesting aspects to it right now. It seems kind of like, what's the point? But I guess we'll figure out as we play it because we haven't actually really tested it out yet. It might work differently than how I'm sort of thinking it up in my head. And I'm, I'm probably almost certain that it does actually. So in terms of damage for this character, as long as the um, the damage stat and the um, fire rate stat, tears stat, increases the rate of which you use this and the damage it deals, this could be really strong. I think right now it's it's good. It's it's a bit stronger than normal, I'd say, just because it's radial. Um, but yeah, it's not amazing. One thing that, that is kind of curious about this character, so that becomes uh, that, and then I use threshold to, yeah, to make it become real. So... My question is, why would I not want to use Threshold? I should go to the shop, really. My, my question here is, yeah, what's... So, I think, I think basically, the, the caveat with Threshold is that sometimes you don't have a charge, therefore your items are at risk because they're only wisps, and you have to try and essentially pick up multiple items at the same time. Um, hey, there you go. Pick up multiple items at the same time and turn them all into wisps at once. That would be how I currently imagine that to work. Um, you, you sort of got to, got to do it in bulk and then use threshold. Which is kind of intriguing. 
Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see how that works. Maybe Threshold charges differently than I'm expecting, or maybe maybe it is just what I've just described. It's always interesting uh, playing these uh, modded characters and kind of learning. So I am noticing as well that I haven't been able to heal my 99% uh, my that I have on my Glowing Hourglass. I'm guessing that is uh, basically a health bar as of the whole run. Um, in fact, do you know what? Let me just check something. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. Let me just check something. The rework might already be out. Um, I need to actually check that. Um, because it, it looks like it's percent based now, which is what I was told was going to be the rework. Um, the, the, di the dice bomber got reworked because of that, that bro broken run I had with it. But no, I, I don't think anything's been changed in a, in a little while there. So maybe it, there is still something that's going to change with this. But yeah, I'm hoping we can increase our damage more. Of course, we just got the Glizzy there, which um, is pretty decent for increasing our uh, increasing our stats, but not amazing. This is just... I'll try and re-roll it. Dry Baby? Dry Baby's pretty decent here, I think. Because Dry Baby could potentially protect our Wisps. Same with uh, Ball of Bandages, to be fair. I like the fact that you've got Flight here, so you can like sit over rocks and... Use your radial attack to hit multiple enemies. I wonder if range is going to increase the radius of that. Um, I wouldn't imagine it would, but it kind of actually looks like it maybe is. Yeah, that, that, our range definitely feels slightly increased. I mean, I'll have to gain more stats on that to, to, to bit make sure. But so far, it seems pretty good. The range seems pretty darn good. Okay, let's do the boss. We could... Um, we could just actually thingy uh, get baby plum flute, but I'm not so interested in that this run, actually. Just got to be careful of my wisps right now. Try and make sure to keep her away. It seems like we are doing a, a bit of knockback with this attack when she does the, uh, the bouncing around at the speed of sound. I like the fact that we can use this pillar here as good defense. So we get her, then we pick up this item here. I don't know how devil deals are likely to work um, in this situation. So I, I guess I'll try and take one. Uh, okay, I can take... Oh, it costs... I see, it costs us rewind HP. Um, yeah, okay, I, I'll take both of those. And then I come out here and then I... I'm going to go to the next floor first and see if going to the next floor with Wisps does anything. Because I haven't obviously checked that yet. Um, okay, nothing happens there. Then we use Threshold. Oh. I see. Okay, this changes things. Okay, threshold means a whole lot more than I thought. Dude, those guys are a bit different now. What the hell? Um, threshold means a whole lot more than I thought it did. That's uh, that's intriguing. So, threshold actually is really important to gain charges for, and any way to increase the rate at which you gain charges is going to be extremely valuable because. You can't stack multiple items in one go. You've got to do it one at a time. Which means that the more items I grab while not using Threshold, the more at risk I am at losing them. Which adds a pretty interesting dynamic to this character, I've got to say. Did pick up a token there by accident. My bad. Oops. It is what it is. I'm going to do this room because it's extra charges. Even though I wouldn't normally do this. Definitely, I, I will say to the developers, and it's something you might not be able to um, to change, there is definitely a little bit more frame rate dips in my run on gen in general compared to without this mod. I, I like it might just be that it's a complex mod with a lot of um, a lot of things in it. Ooh, I like fettered enemies, but yeah, that's a little unfortunate, really. Uh, we'll pop, pop another one of those. We get driving. It seems to be doing it in order. It's not random, dude. The fettered. Fettered enemies are pretty awesome for us here, because we've got, like, double AoE going on. Oh, there was a fettered enemy here that I didn't even see. Luck foot. We start with very low luck, apparently. I didn't take a pillar or anything, did I, that ruins the chances. We've got a lot of AoE going on. I kind of forgot about Dry Baby as well, uh, being able to do that AoE. Necronomicon effect for all space. That's rather nice, especially with flight. There's a lot of them that require flight nowadays. That is the most garbage crawl space I think I've ever seen. Wow, what what the hell is that? What the heck is even that? Pop in here because we've got an, almost enough for a purchase. 
We've gained a percent somewhere. We're at 69% for. Okay, so there's a battery there on the cheap. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I don't think it will, but I'm going to check if taking a soul heart does anything to our, um, does anything to our HP that we've got remaining, or our percentage we've got remaining, should I say. Yeah. So we use threshold. Okay, so it is random. It is random. We grab this. Use it again, nice one, and then... That lowered my percentage by two. <laughs> um... Why? I'm a little confused as to why that happened, I'll be honest. Little confused as to why that happened. Yeah. I mean, we are doing good damage now, though. Now that we've got Dark Matter as a permanent item, I'm pretty happy, too. Oh, nice. We just got a, a, a free revive heart. They're pretty rare. So at least now we have some backup. We have a, a potential re revive coming our way. Okay, you guys are going to fuck up my wisps if you're not careful. I really like the rework to this guy. Makes him so unique. Pretty challenging too. Why is that going to give me a broken heart? I don't know, but I want it. But it didn't give me a broken heart. Maybe that's something to do with the um, the, the extra life heart that I just took. Potentially? I don't really know. That's a little bit of a mystery to me. Yeah. Extra damage here is doing good. I'm liking it. Extra fire rate definitely does affect things because we just got uh, extra fire rate and it's making quite the difference. Fortunately, fettered enemies can't damage other fettered enemies. I mean, I suppose the knock-on effect of that would be quite drastic. Oh, that gulped twice. So, ooh, kind of interesting to see the on-pickup effects happen twice. Okay, I like that. So this is also saying it's going to cost me a broken heart. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, I'll be honest. Now, I don't know if this item works because it only does it on the, the, the right eye or something, doesn't it? Which I don't think will affect us because it's not a direct stat increase, which is a shame because it meant that I kind of picked that up for nothing. But I did do this room for extra charges as well, so... But yeah, is everything going to cost a broken heart now and for 12 items I'm going to die? I'm going to be kind of peeved if that happens. Maybe that's the way that they've balanced those hearts, but in that case, I'd rather them not be hearts. <laughs> I'd rather than be something else. Be a you as well. Can you charge me, please? I was hoping to bomb him when he charged me, but he just never did. Fear doesn't do anything in this state, does it? Beautiful. He is taken care of. Good, good, good. I guess you can't play sack rooms as a character, right? Because if you take damage in there, it'll just rewind you into the previous room. Also, it kind of means the on-hit effects don't do anything. Brittle Burns doesn't really do anything for us either, I don't think. Mm, I'll take that, why not? Oh, it turned to something else. Flat damage dealt by bombs is real nice. Real, real nice. Right. Keep it going. Could be either one of these. There you go. Nice. Liberty cap there. Nah, I'd rather have the flat bomb damage. Even though I'm wasting all my bombs right now, but shush. I want pennies. I want to be able to use the shop if I, uh... If I go into it. Be able to get some of that out of it. Right. But yeah, uh, so far I really like this character. I've, I'm a little confused on all the broken heart things that's going on right now, but that's nothing to do with this character, I don't think. Hey, Locking in fettered heart is real nice. We've actually got a lot of pretty good items locked in at this point.
Hey, that's more money as well. Lovely. Dropping more health is... Nah. Not great. If it was dropping more items, hell yeah, I'd take that. But for more health as this character... I don't think so, buddy. I don't know what the magician... You know what? I'm going to try it. Does the magician... It definitely increases the range by quite a bit, but... As I said, I don't think Herman did, does much. Ah, we lost a wisp there. I don't know what we lost. We lost a wisp. Okay. Grab, 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 grab. Kind of weird the trinkets don't have qualities, you know, like items do. It'd be kind of good to see that happen. I'd like that. Right. Fear's actually been really nice. Oh, I, that's the first time I've been hit in a really long time. Oh, no. On-hit effects do work. Interesting. First time I've been hit in quite some time. Trying not to lose Squeezy here. Push this over towards some mushrooms at least. Try and get magic mush. In fact, it's a bit of a long trek, but one more mushroom to blow up. Worth all the time in the world. There you go. Midas touch. I'm, I'm expecting once I hit 12 items, I'm just going to die. But we've got a revive, so I'm guessing that's just how that's being rebalanced now. Yeah, it's weird, but whatever. Right, see what's here. Don't know what that is. I guess I'll buy it and find out. It's the little trowel. Digged up a burn fragment. I don't really remember what this thing does. Try and find out, shall we? Um, spawns a burn, can dig up dirt patches. Um, okay. Not great. That was terrible. I used it and it did no damage because he's still in his first phase. Remember, we got double ba damage with bombs, so. Right, you should be pretty much donezo here. There you go. Not too bad at all. We got whatever the hell this is, stem cells, and then we got an angel deal, which is, ah, unfortunately, an item that I have to die to make work, which isn't ideal. I'm doing this literally just for the charge. Rubber up against the fire, working out pretty well. It gives us a charge on threshold, which allows us to pop another one of these. Unfortunately, it was Midas Touch. Isn't ideal. And we go on down. But yeah, that grave thing we just got gives us an extra revive. Um, but it revives us on four hearts and gives us a free angel item. It's a pretty goddamn good revive item. Again, we're doing this just for the charges. Bunch of fettered enemies that take no damage. That's lovely. Our range is getting to be really, really decent at this point. Um, I think if we could get up to like 10 range, we'd pretty much be covering the, the majority of the room. Would be pretty awesome. Definitely needs more damage as well. Our damage is uh, starting to fall off a little bit on some of these bigger enemies. Pills. I'm not interested in pills on this run. You're gonna try and bomb me. That's fine, my guy. That's fine. Threshold is looking good. Stop fettering enemies that I can't goddamn hit. How dare you? So mean and rude. So 69. Okay, picking up the soul heart there did nothing. I don't know why last time I thought it did. Oh, uh, this is just like, let them tire themselves out, I guess. Yeah, it is. There's this little key thing. Fear him. Keep him away from me. 
Hey, we finally got Squeezy, and it gave us the Soul Hearts again. Not that it does anything for us, but there you go. Right. Secret room here, maybe? Yeah, in fact, we're getting good at finding the secret rooms on this run. Fortunately, a secret room that doesn't mean all too much to us. There you go. I said try and get the fettered enemy first. Get back here. Why did you, why did you have to be feared out of all of them? Come on now. Shopman, what you got for us? Not great. I'm gold like you. Don't kill me. I'm your brethren. I am your family. Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, let's not bother doing that again. I don't need the money. Hmm. That is a D4 there. Let's give it a let's give it a gamble. Why not? See what else we can do with this run. Oh, we got Luda. Luda's an actual tier. We also got two dark bums somehow. I don't know why we got two. Um, oh, because we got prosperity. Um, we got compost as well, which is kind of good. Rosary here. We still got a damage increase. We got curse of the tower. Okay, this is overall pretty interesting. I like the fact that we got a very unique thing in, in getting Ludo here. Ludo seems like... Oh, we got Lusty Blood as well. Ludo seems real goddamn good for a run like this. Also, Compost as well, I, I really like as an item. Yeah, Ludo is like kind of crazy here. Good. We haven't been to our item room yet. Let's quickly go back and check that out. We don't need to threshold. We don't have anything around us at the moment. Oh, no. Prosperity is really bugged, unfortunately. Uh, you see how there's like a big massive puff of smoke every time we enter a room. Do you know what? Um, remove dark. Boom. There you go. Uh, that should fix that, I think. No, it doesn't. Um, maybe remove key. Peace. One. Is that going to fix it? No, it's not. Bloody prosperity is such a broken item. Okay. Uh, remove prosperity. C1045. Then give myself back the key piece. Unfortunately, yeah, prosperity is just like a really broken item. Um, as in like... Not as in, like, it's broken powerful. It's in, like, just doesn't work. Um, and it, it glitches out your familiars. It's supposed to double all the familiars you get. But it, it it does it in a very peculiar way. And it basically tricks the game into thinking you have more familiars than you should have. Even if you only have, like, two. Um, and it can really mess up your, your familiars. Sometimes you walk into a room and you just have none. I was playing as um, Lilith once before. And it removed all of my Incubus. Like, I literally couldn't shoot. It was rather bizarre. Damn it, that was such a bad hit. An unnecessary hit. Wow. Okay, that's quite quite the damage increase. That's gonna that's gonna mean a lot, I think gonna mean quite a lot to us. Keep it moving along. Get that key, why not? Grab the battery as well for a threshold charge for our boss item. Or devil deal, or angel deal, whatever we might get. I wonder why there's a shopkeeper there. Ooh, this is secret roomy to me. Unfortunately, not a great secret room. I, 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 maybe I take that back. Maybe I take that back. Maybe this is a decent. Cracked. I really don't need to be fucking around with this uh, golden penny. Oh, 
Ah, oh, dude, those enemies are pain in the ass. I'm not, I'm not buggering around with you again. You can heck off. Right. We got Reap Creep this time, which... Oh, I was going to say bombs will be really good against him. Whoa! My thing can go, like, across the screen. Oh, see, so he got the soy milk variant of this guy. Dude, he can just bash the bombs away. What the hell's that about? I didn't know he could do that. Either way, he's, he's, he's going down pretty quick. Lusty Blood is making things even easier for us here. What? The fucking spider fell on me? I did not see that coming. God damn it, I have to do this whole fight again. Yeah, bosses are real rough with this guy. Right, when the spiders start falling this time, let's be a little safer, shall we? Oh god damn. I like the Sawmills version of this guy, it's pretty cool. Okay, he's on Brimstone version now, so... I don't know what he's gonna do in terms of Sawmill or Brimstone, but I'm not ready for it. Okay, we got him. We got him. Right, let's keep going. We're down to 65% now, but that's still pretty good. We've still got a lot of... I think this character might have more HP than the average character does over the course of a run, to be honest. We've also got 10 range now as well, as you can see, so our radius is pretty awesome. I will say our shot speed is pretty awful. The moving around the room is taking some time. But we're one-shotting some enemies and two-shotting the rest. But power-wise, this character is really good. We have no issues in that department. I'm glad I did a I did a reroll though. Add some more fun to a character and see I allowed us to see a unique synergy here. Which I, I I didn't even really think about how unique this would be. Red Bomber, we've had that before, it's real good. It grants us bomb immunity and allows us to throw our bombs directly at enemies. And it allows us to cook them as well, which is really, really nice with the trinket we've got here for extra bomb damage. Good. Also gave us plus five bombs twice. I realize I'm not using compost much, but I'm waiting for a room full of, like, coins or something to turn into spiders. I'm gonna go back this way real quick, see if I can find item room. Yeah, de definitely, uh, just a, like I said, a note against the devs. Um, this is mainly because I'm using Fiendfolio along with a ton of other mods, but this definitely seems to be the mod that's causing me lag issues in general because I, I, I've not been playing with it in my regular series recently and my frame rate has been pretty darn good and now it's, it's, it's iffy. It's iffy, but it's not this mod specifically. It's not this mod's fault specifically. It's more so the combination of this mod plus the hundreds of other mods I'm using. <laughs> and this is probably pretty good for us actually. Uh, and we can actually go and threshold it straight away. Right. Let's get back onto the boss. It's damage. Really should take that bomb. Bombs are pretty valuable for us, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know if 4.5 volt would be good with compost, but I'm kind of hoping it will be. It might not be great, but we'll get a different active at some point anyways, and change change hands, that might fix things for us. I'm not dealing with you, Hursty boy. Beautiful, though. We are just destroying through rooms right now. And yeah, if we look at our red bomber here, we can charge it up and then throw it at the right timing. Obviously, that there was not the right timing. Red mum, unfortunately, is going to be kind of a rough one for us in general. Just because the timings of bombs are not easy, um, and she's not on the floor often enough for us to really hit her much. 
We've got to make sure we don't get hit at all, though, here, so... Like I said, a little bit rough. We are dealing good damage when we get chance to, but we just don't get the chance to do that often. Two more stomps, I think, will do it. Yeah, one more stomp. There you go, we got a... Take that. And... Sulfur is an interesting one. I'm going to take Sulfur, um, which has turned itself into a Wisp, which I'm not sure how that's going to work with Threshold. Oh, I can just use both actives. Oh, no. The other active is gone. I see. It takes it over. That's fine, though. Check in here. I'm just curious as to how Brimstone will work here. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Okay. It's less awesome that it deals, like, fucking terrible damage. <laughs> okay. I won't be using Sulfur much, sadly. The damage on that is... Okay, wait a minute. Maybe if I double up, it'll be better. Okay, that's pretty... That was pretty good. The, da the damage on that is... Okay, no. The damage is actually really good. Just because of the type of movement, it's very inconsistent. The way that the beams move. Like, sometimes it does loads. Other times it doesn't do much. But considering we've got 22 damage right now, for Brimstone, it's doing very, very low damage. Like, the, w the way that it moves, it kind of, like, sort of phases through the enemy rather than sticking on them for a certain amount of time. Meaning that we basically lose a lot of damage. But that might just be a quirk of it being based with Ludo. You've got to get the exact right distance away from the enemy, I think. I think that's, that's going to be, like, the main... Thing, cause like, like, like then, I was directly on top of the enemy, and it didn't really do all that much damage. If the enemy's sort of on the outer ring, where, when it's phasing outwards, it seems to do quite a lot like that look. But this is still, like, pretty goddamn low damage for Brimstone. It's, like, serviceable, it's working, but we're up to 24 damage, and it takes us more than one, one Brimstone fire to kill a Dingle Dangle. But then again, you've got to think about the fact that it's radial. Like, n something we, we should probably sort of figure out is how good it is at room clearing. Because it might be a hell of a lot better at room clearing. In which case, obviously, sulfur isn't really that good. But brimstone itself might be. Because it is covering, like, the whole room. But it is taking an awful lot of time to kill some enemies. Also, really hard to keep track of my blue orb. It just needs to be slower as all. Well. It needs to do what it's doing, but slower. So it, so it lingers on the enemy at all. Ooh, this guy's awesome. He got a rework recently. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's, it's just like... It's just slightly frustrating. It's just not quite sticking on the enemies for as long as it should. Or as long as I feel like it should. The devs may completely disagree with me. But it's a really, really cool synergy between Luda and Brimstone. Anyway, it's like really cool. It just I just think I, I genuinely be, would be doing more damage without Brimstone with the amount of de uh, actual damage value that I have. That's the slightly frustrating part. But it's so cool though. <laughs> I, can, I can live with it for now because it's really cool. Oh, we got green, green um, half Loki as well here, which isn't ideal. Come on, it should have definitely killed Loki by now. Oh, dude. It's taking like four of these to kill Loki. Come on now. I don't know what Monstro 2 is doing here. I think I've bugged him out. He seems to be just completely incapable of doing anything. Like, you think the epicenter, like right in the middle... Would be the best place to hit them. It'd do the most possible damage, but it seems to be the worst possible place. You want to be you want it sort of here, look. 
That seems to be the, the ideal location distance away to deal maximum damage. And, and when it does hit with maximum damage, it kind of hits pretty goddamn hard. It's just... It seems kind of like mass shotgun from Enter the Gungeon, where if it's even slightly outside of its like ideal range, it does nowhere near as much. Good. Who's our other boy? Like that, that did loads of damage there. Why we got to fight these two back to back? Come on now. Mean. That was close. He should be doing feet after he dies. That's bullshit. Probably only got a few waves left. Oh, got an itchy face. Don't know if we can actually make it through this whole thing, because... Some bosses are a lot worse than others. Ideally, mainly, sorry, this fella here. Really, really don't like this guy. Mainly because of these attacks here where he covers the entire room in fire. Keep forgetting I can scoot across the entire length of the room. I need to make sure I walk into these goddamn fireplaces. But yeah, Monstro here, he's taking way too many hits to go down. Like, look at this, every single time he jumps, he just misses the whole brimstone. <laughs> goddamn you, Monstro. This has to be the last wave, right? We've got other Loki as well, which is also herming. He does teleport, so I'm just going to keep my distance for now. Like I said, the damage when it hits, pretty saucy. It's not hitting often enough. Gotta be the last wave, right? There you go. Cool. Right. Out we go. Down to the next floor. Good job we don't have to deal with Brimstone every room, though. It's only when we choose to use Sulfur that we're going to have Brimstone. Normally... We just get the uh, the wicked power of what we've got going on. You see what I mean? Like, that's just... That feels like it's going to be way better than the Brimstone. Because I have to charge the Brimstone as well. It's not dealing damage constantly. This is always, always dealing damage. Which is a really big plus side of it. Nice. Shoop the whoop. Shoop the whoop would actually be pretty strong, I guess, but I'll leave it for now. So yeah, let's try use Brimstone in a, in a regular room. Like this one, and see sort of how well it does. Yeah, like that is... Not... Not ideal. Okay, that was better. That, that last one there was pretty good. But this is what I mean. It's just, it's more about the inconsistency than anything. Whereas... The, the damage of just it pulsing all the time is incredibly consistent. It's always going to be exactly what it is. And is it that, that's one thing that I maybe think they should add. Um, is that I think potentially the, the, the black radius should do slight... Not, not a massive amount, but slightly more damage when you're up close. Like, maybe 20% more damage when you're up close. And 20% less damage when it's at the very edge. So, there's actually a bit of a, bit of a like, tactic... Rather than it just hitting the whole room when you've got high enough range for the same amount of damage. It'd be nice to see it be a little bit strategical. And if you are willing to risk getting up in the enemy's face a little bit more, you can deal a little bit more damage. I think that could be potentially a good slight rework of how this character deals damage. Like I said, it wouldn't have to be a big change. 20 or 30% would be enough. But yeah, um, slightly punished for being far away. Slightly rewarded for being up close. And that could uh, increase the the dynamic of the character a little bit. It just, I think it's one of those things where basically when it's a character like this that like auto fires um, and hits in a radius and you don't really have to aim, I feel like you have to add in mechanics to, um, to keep the, 
to keep sort of the player engaged in terms of like like right now obviously i'm a little bit more engaged because i have to move the um the the tier that has ludo separately to myself so there's more engagement there but if i didn't have ludo I would very much just be walking near enemies and they'd all be dying. To, what the fuck is going on with this guy right now? The knockback is really, really wigging him out. Um, if you were to add, um, sort of, without Luda, the ability to have to stand close to enemies to deal more damage, it'll be a little bit more active. There'll be a, sort of a little bit more to, uh, to do. Hey. Good, good, good. Because, uh, yeah, once you get to a certain power level, especially sort of in the womb plus, I imagine you just walk into every room with enough range to hit the majority of the room and kind of just stand there and dodge things if they're near you. Whereas if you have to get close to deal more damage, or if at least you can get close to deal more damage, there's a little bit more to think about um, on a room-to-room -room basis and a little bit more to do. This guy's not taking any damage. Oh, dude. So I don't know why that guy is bugged and not taking any damage, but he, he ain't. Yeah, look at this. The amount, like, I've not even got crazy damage. I've got good damage, but nothing crazy. And I think it's more the fire rate that's doing it, but goddamn, I'm just steamrolling. Good. Check what the item is in here. Nah. That is range, actually. Do you know what? It's worth it for range. Seems like the broken hearts above items mean absolutely nothing. Ooh, it's reworked Gerdster. Yeah, we're, we're, we're literally hitting the entire room now with the range that we've got. 14 range. Puts this guy in a really strong position. And that that's another thing as well. It would make uh, situations like this mean it's still worth getting near enemies rather than just walking to the middle of the room and basically being AFK. <laughs> I'm sure these are things the developers might have thought about already, but I'm, I, was, I was asked to basically review and give my feedback. So I'm trying to be as honest as I can. I, I, I tend to be rather brutal in my feedback. If I think something's not working or needs reworking, I will say it. And I honestly don't think anything is particularly broken with this character. I just think there is definitely ways you can make a character like this more engaging. Because I think early game, it's it's a, it's a really fun character with a really interesting gimmick. But as you get into the later game, it becomes less active and more like sort of things just dying as you walk into rooms. And there needs to be more to keep the player fully engaged. Good thing is with Ludo as well. That was a bad hit, that was. Good thing is with Ludo as well, I can, like, throw my bombs while this is going on. I don't know why my bombs are so heavy. And why are my bombs getting knocked back by tears? What the fuck's that about? Is that a thing that can happen with Red Bomber? It must be. At the minute, we're shitting the bed a little bit. Literally, all we have to do is dodge, and I'm really not having an easy time of that right now. Some really cool animations as part of this. This attack phase is really cool, but really difficult. <laughs> So this is our this is our st sort of stopping point right now. I'm annoyed I can't use bombs because they keep getting pushed back by tears, which is very frustrating. And they keep getting stopped a little early as well, dude. This attack is going to be the death of me. It just it's, it's it's a really cool attack. I just think it lasts like a bit too long. I can't. I can't do it, people. I can't do it. Why are you pushing my bombs away so heavily? Please stop. Dude, okay, well, we're probably dead to mum here. Not being able to get hit once on this fight is, is bad, because I don't really know this fight very well. 
This is us dead, I think. If I could use bombs correctly, this would be nowhere near as hard. I just have to get one time where she doesn't do that attack. Nope, she's doing it again. Dude, it's too close to me. I can't. Please end attack. Please end. There you go. It ended. Okay, that took some time, but we did it. Got an angel deal as well. Um, I guess this one. Okay, we, we, we get to take both here. I can't take threshold yet. Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that taking 4.5 volt would affect threshold. Not a great idea by me. Not a great idea. Move in. I still can't use threshold. Okay, I really screwed the pooch with this one because I've got a fully charged sulfur again to be able to use threshold one more time. I got hit there apparently? By who? What the fuck? Ah, oh, I get walked into a goddamn beam again. Thank you. Oh, I missed that. Oh, no, I didn't. I got it. My bombs are, like, really... Oh, is it because I've got Luda? No. Okay, I, it's, it's the radius of my shot is pushing back my bombs. This, this blackened radius is pushing those bombs away. Bitch, why? <laughs> Also, I still have 29 bombs. I seem to constantly, perpetually have 29 bombs. Right. Boss time. I'm sure this is not going to go great, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, it's, it's my radius that does it. See that coming. Going to be bad there. Can't use bombs now. Things aren't going too bad. Probably two more of these. Okay, there you go. We're good. Managed to make it through that at least. The Eternal Heart, I doubt, does anything for us. We'll see if it ups our percentage somehow. Nope, it does not, sadly. Right. See what we can do, I guess. A rough room already this is to start out with. I mean that's a revive at least. God damage kill all the dips instantly. Rather useful. Oh hello, I didn't realize you were in the house. Can you stop jumping, my guy, so I can hit you, please? Thank you. You throw up. You, you do your thing. You throw up. Keep it going. Extra We're going to get a lot of extra chests here. Rainbow, baby. 
pretty we had an active that was more worthwhile to use. Got it taken care of now. Chest maybe, yep, chest again. More of my curses, I wonder if that'll even work. Oh, it does, nice. Another chest, goddamn. The luck is helping us out a lot. The broken hearts above the item seems to mean absolutely nothing. Maybe it's because I'm not physically picking them up. Another chest. The Bible. Right, it's boss time. Golden key, don't need it. Now, luckily, we actually have a lot of wisps protecting our body right now, which is kind of nice. Like, the wisps' as items are kind of just protecting us here. Ooh. We need to be throwing up bombs wherever we can because we're getting locusts from them. Although they're now placing as normal bombs rather than being thrown, which is not what I would have expected. They're doing a hell of a lot of damage, so I'm trying to wherever I can right now. There you go. Nice one. We managed to make it somehow. Not really sure how we got that to work, but we'll leave the run there. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. It was a very fun one indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.